Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This particular prophetic word says the distance is killing them. They are wondering if they still have a chance with you. <laughs> My goodness, seriously? Yeah, that is what is going on right now. The distance is killing them so hard. And they are wondering if they still have a chance with you. You know, one thing about life is you never know and you never understand what might be going on about people and around people. Sometimes you will feel like you're not that valuable, you're not that important until it gets to your notice. And you will never know. Because people know how to act. People know how to put themselves great. I've seen people who are dying in the inside. But they know how to stand in front of you and make you feel like, oh, they're fine. Nothing is going on with them and all that. Especially somebody whom you used to be in a relationship with. They know how to make you feel like you're not valuable. They know how to make you feel like their life is going okay. Not until it starts hitting them hard that you're a very good person. You are amazing. When people know that they have options, they feel like the world is revol revolving around them. When people know that they are valuable, when they know that they can, you know, do anything at any point in time, they will see your little weaknesses, they will see your little mistake, despite the big sacrifices that you had made for them. That is what happens to so many people. You can sacrifice for somebody, do all you can. But once they start seeing like they can have a better option, once they start getting distracted, they become open to your little weaknesses. They become open to your little mistakes. And you're looking at yourself like, okay, but what, what's going on right now? Like what actually happened? Honey, they are distracted and they're beginning to have options. That's why. But somebody who doesn't have an option will tell you, that I know that you have this weakness. I know there is this mistake about us, but can we please fix it? There are two categories of people you're going to meet, or better still, maybe the third one is going to come up as I speak about this. The first person you're going to meet, category of people, is somebody who feels like I have options. I can always have my way. When you meet such people, they will not easily forgive your mistakes. They will take advantage of the least thing you do when they want to leave you. Somebody might always say, okay, forgive you. Okay, these, the moments they want to leave, they will not forgive you. They will go. So forgiveness is not because of people, somebody taking you back always. It's not because of sometimes. It's not because of anything. Sometimes they don't have a better option. Once they get a better option, they might just leave you without you knowing. The second category of people you're going to meet, these are people who have options, but they have decided to say, I have options, but I want to stay. I have options, but it's you I've chosen. When you meet a person who has options, but I've chosen you, you feel the best life. Why? You're always going to meet somebody who might have even one option even one. There are people who have options that are not good. They know that this particular option is not good. But I'm talking about somebody who has an option that is good, but they still choose you. Honey, the grass will always be greener on the other side until you go and you test it. People have regretted leaving others for their mistakes. I'm telling you, People have regretted leaving others for their mistake. Somebody left uh, his partner and he told me, he said, one of the mistakes I made was that I left my partner. He said, because I've faced a lot of problems. I wish I forgave my partner and we fix this. I'm telling you, because he left the partner and then went through worst things you know you're leaving somebody because you feel like the person is lying wait until you start a relationship with that person you thought the person was all perfect you're leaving somebody because you feel like the person is not respecting you wait until you start a relationship with that person you thought the person was all perfect i'm not saying that you stay in a narcissist relationship that's not what i'm saying but i'm saying that what you are able to fix please fix it 
the grass is always greener on the other side. Someone left you. Right now, the two of you have been distanced. And the distance is killing them. They're asking themselves, what if this person has already moved on? They're asking, what if you have already moved on? They have a lot of regrets. Why? Because they've gone through this, they've gone through that, they've gone through this, and they've come to realize that you are the best thing. You are the best person, not because you were kind. You are the best person because you were sacrificial. You are the best person because at least they know you. Who you know is better than who you don't know. I tell you. Let me know that you're a thief. Than that I know you are an angel, but you're not an angel. You are you are a thief in disguise and disguising as an angel. I have learned my lessons. Somebody was with me. I looked at that person and said, this person is an angel. That was the highest thief I've ever seen in my entire life. So I have learned my lessons. The lady was an angel. The lady behaved like she was an angel, but this lady was the highest thief and the highest liar I've seen in my entire life. I learned again better. Let somebody show me their weaknesses. I prefer to take you for your weakness. At least I know this is what you can do. Than that, I know this is what you cannot do and then you do it. Be with somebody. You know this person has a bad character, but the person is willing to change. I'm not saying you be with somebody who has mental or narcissist. I'm not saying that. But you know what I'm talking about. Whenever God is, what God wants you to learn, he empowers you to understand. You know what I'm talking about. They are wondering right now, is there still a chance? Do I still have a chance with this person? They are wondering if you have moved on. They are wondering if they... So the fear of them being rejected has, is what has made them not to have come back to you. The fear that you might reject them. The way they left you wasn't pleasing at all. The way they treated you wasn't pleasing at all. People know when they treat you poorly. They only thought that they were going to get a better life. But because they did not get a better life, they want now to start thinking about it. People know. You don't need to remind people what they did to you. When somebody treats you poorly, they know. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus, may the Lord help you. May he uphold you. May God meet you at the very point of your needs. May he deliver you, heal you completely in Jesus' name. Amen. God has a better life for you. My prayer is that let his will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. One thing that will free you always is forgiveness. Always learn to forgive. Okay? Amen. Please don't forget to pray for me and also do not forget to share now. May the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. I love you so much. Shalom.